Hi, I'm Amy Traverso, Lifestyle Editor at Yankee Magazine. Today I'm going to be making one of my favorite recipes, which is Blue Ribbon Deep Dish Apple Pie. This is my favorite apple pie, and it comes from my book, The Apple Lover's Cookbook. Now what I love about this pie is it's substantial, it has a lot of fruit in it, it has a great crust. And what I especially like is that as a deep dish pie, it, the fruit actually fills the whole pie and goes right up to the crust. You'll notice sometimes if you order deep dish pie that you'll get a little bit of a gap between the crust and the apples. That's because the apples cook down while they're in the oven, but the crust sets and stays up and so you get that gap. This method that I have allows you to cook the pie with a beautiful crust that goes right up to the fruit. So let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need two and a half pounds of firm tart apples, such as Northern Spy or Granny Smith, two and a half pounds of firm sweet apples, such as Golden Delicious or Pink Lady, one third cup granulated sugar, two tablespoons firmly packed light brown sugar, one and a half tablespoons freshly squeezed lemon juice, a half teaspoon ground cinnamon, half teaspoon kosher salt, and one and a half tablespoons cornstarch. In a large Dutch oven over medium-low heat, stir the apples with the sugar, brown sugar, lemon juice, cinnamon, and salt. Cook, stirring gently, until the apples just begin to turn tender, about 10 minutes. Remove the apples from the heat. Stir in the cornstarch and spread the mixture out onto a large baking sheet. Place it in your freezer to cool to room temperature, 12 to 15 minutes. Meanwhile, unwrap your larger disc of dough. Roll it out, working from the center to a 13-inch circle. Transfer the dough, peeled side down, to a 9-inch deep dish pie plate and press the crust into the plate, draping any excess over the side. Remove the apples from the freezer and use a spatula to transfer them with any juices into the pie plate. Transfer the crust, peeled side down, to the pie and then fold the bottom crust up over the top crust and crimp to seal. Brush the crust all over with milk and sprinkle with the remaining tablespoon of sugar. Make three slashes in the crust to let steam escape and bake on the lowest rack for 10 minutes. Reduce the heat to 350 degrees and bake until the pie is golden brown, another 40 to 50 minutes. Okay, so my pie is ready. I think it looks delicious. It's nice and puffy and beautiful. And I cut into it so that you can see that the, uh, the fruit goes right up to the crust and it's just chock full of juicy, delicious apples. Now for this and other great apple recipes, including some more from my book, you can go to yankeemagazine.com.